Hi there, I'm Rachel Varden. That's me there sitting at my work desk in my studio. I'm an artist living and working in Tume County Galway on the west coast of Ireland. Last October, I was delighted to be awarded seed funding from Creative Places Tume for my project, Artist in the Studio. The concept of this is for me to go out and interview artists in their own studio environment, for them to discuss their work practice and to give us a little look at their work. As we are in our third lockdown, I've been unable to start this project. So getting kind of irritated and itchy twitchy with this, I've decided I want to start and I'm going to start with myself. I am an artist, so I wanted to give you a look at my workspace, my work and my work practice. Welcome to Rachel Varden, Artist in the Studio. Just after first lockdown, I moved into the studio, so that was June 2020. And oh my God, was that such a good move. First lockdown was tough, but I think everyone was in thinking that we just do these few weeks and things will be back to normal pretty quickly. But little did we imagine that in February 2021, here in Ireland, we are still at the highest level of restrictions. So it was really good timing for me to move into the studio when I did. It's just absolutely brilliant to be able to get up in the morning, come out to work, close the front door behind me and, as I said, get into my space where I have very little distraction. I have launched a website, I've done social media, I've been on Zoom meetings and I have created a lot of work during this time. Whereas if I was still at home, I don't think I would have got anything done. This is the space here. It's nice, bright space. And it's quite big. It's it's brilliant. It's very dilapidated looking. I'm nearly ashamed showing you, but artists don't care about that stuff. As long as we have somewhere to come and work, um, and play, um, we we don't mind. It's just great to have this space, and it's in the centre of town, so there's a little bit of activity as well. My current body of work is mainly inspired by these stone carvings that can be found at Glenstone Abbey in County Limerick. I was really lucky to attend a residency there at the Lodestar School of Art in 2019, August 2019. Um, when I went there, I, I went there kind of with, um, with not a clue about what I would be working on. I had no body of work going. And I was a little bit disillusioned with with the art world. And um, I think coming out of college in 2016, you kind of get a little bit lost for a while. But these stone carvings had such an impact on me that um, I, I think I found what I was looking for. I found what type of artist I wanted to be, what I wanted to paint. And yeah. It opened up my eyes to everything and um, it changed my complete work process. The whole Lodestar experience was brilliant. It was um, it was the right time for me to do this. And again, timing is everything. And it just gave me such a confidence boost. I just started spewing out work and I'm still working on this stuff 18 months on. It was just a magnificent experience and I'm looking forward to August 2021 when I'll be down there again. Now, it may not have the same impact, but um, I'm really looking forward to that. Once I've found my inspiration, I can start my work process. And what I like to do is I like to create characters so in this instance here, I've created a character called Lizzo and um, I have a whole series of work done with Lizzo and as well as a couple of others. There's Satan there in the left hand cor corner and I like to work in sketchbooks. 
I have quite a lot of sketchbooks, as you can see here. And I like to explore and develop my characters through initial sketches. And I find that working in the sketchbooks, it enables me to familiarize myself with color and line and composition, materials, pattern. And I can work everything out in my head before I have to go and create finished pieces of work. It's it's a way of really getting to know my characters inside and out. And once I've all this kind of groundwork done, all the thre threads kind of fit together. And it enables me then to be able to create strong, bold, confident, considered pieces of work. Um, and hopefully unique pieces of work. That's the most important thing to me, that they're a little bit different to what else is out there. Here's a few quick glances at some of the finished work. And you can see my, my use of different things. And I'm always kind to keep moving and not being static. I will explain about a couple of pieces in a couple of seconds. I would like to show you two pieces from my Lizzo collection. As you can gather by now, I've been working passionately on this collection for some time now. Lizzo with Snake and Monkey on My Back are two finished pieces. They are the smallest paintings that you can see on the screen. The others, they are archival prints of the original artworks. And they are printed on 300 gram Hanamula paper and are in A1, A2 and A3 sizes. These are on my website for sale. I'm not quite sure if that's all I want to do with prints, but I, I think I'm toying with the idea of actually working on top of the prints. Um, and I think that's what I'll actually be doing. But I'm digressing a bit. Um... When I talk about my work, I would describe it as abstract and graphical, naive, primitive and maybe a little bit colourful. And, and I imagine when someone sees a painting of mine for the first time, they might look at it and think it's a bright, happy, cheery, kind of animated piece of art. Um, and my, my use of colour does suggest this. But um, on closer inspection, things are not as they seem. Um, I have a lot of s cynicism um, and my work is a bit sinister. And uh, yeah, it just is a little bit, a little bit weird. And I think I'm using hidden symbolism and things like that. Uh, to, to say things, monkey on my back, okay, we all have monkeys and um, Lisa with snake here, she's restrained. So I think it might be a, as well a contrast of, of myself and my work. I am not very confident, I would be fearful of things, I would be very anxious and I'd be very easily taken out of my comfort zone. On the other hand, my work it's completely the opposite. It's confident. It's bold. It's not anxious. It's there's no fear when I do my work. Absolutely none. You can't find it anywhere. I'm not afraid when I go to go to do a painting. And it doesn't matter if it comes out right or it doesn't. It's it's given me a way to articulate myself to be able to communicate. And I think I communicate best through my work. Um, I think I'm probably trying to find something I'm, I think I'm, what I'm trying to find, you might laugh at this, is I'm trying to, f to find something from the painting. I'm a bit like Dorian Gray, but what I want is to say for the painting to give me something, to give me confidence. And I think they could be beginning to do that. Um, I'm trying to probably bridge a gap between, uh, between anxiety and excitement. Uh... I paint from the gut and I'm an intuitive artist. I now pausing a bit here because I want to say this properly. I, I, I'm 
painting my best work at the moment and I have been doing that since August 2018 my work just as far as I am concerned is getting better and better it's getting more honest more truthful it's it's a representation of what I want to be and I th don't think you can ask for more from a job from work than to have that um I don't know what you make of the work but I'll let you decide I hope they intrigue you and um yeah so I'll let you decide the rest on that I would like to thank Creative Places Tune for giving me this opportunity and I hope I will be able to visit artists soon to be able to interview them and to have a conversation with them about their own work. If you would like to explore any more of my work, you can visit my website at www.rachelvarden.com. Um, you can go to the collector's page there or if you'd like to contact me or ask me any questions, you can do so through the contact page. I would like to thank you very, very much for watching this and I hope we'll all be out of this pandemic soon. Just please do take care.